Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Nintendo Switch Pro controller basically connected to your Windows machine so you can use the other PCSX2 emulator to play PlayStation 2 games. So let me show you the controller right here and when I, when I say Nintendo Switch I'm meaning the Nintendo Switch Pro controller if I didn't already say that. So one of these, there's two ways that you can connect it. Bluetooth or so wirelessly, so make sure your computer has Bluetooth either built in or via a dongle or USB type C. For the USB type C, you actually need an extra driver. For Bluetooth, you don't. You can literally do it without a driver. And you know, it's usually the other way around, like plug and play is usually with the wire, and then Bluetooth is usually the you know the one that requires a bit of extra drivers. So I'm gonna show you the Bluetooth one first because we'll install the drivers after for the wired version. And what you want to do is go to Bluetooth and you can either add it from here on go to devices and printers and add device from here the reason I'm doing that is because I know some people will be on an older version of Windows that doesn't have this interface but has the devices and printers interface basically you just need to go wherever you would to add a Bluetooth device Go to add a device and what you want to do is put this into pairing mode so mine has appeared because i've connected it before but what you do if you press this little button here let me just focus in this will start flashing so i'm going to press it once oh you actually have to keep it pressed sorry for a couple of seconds that's starting flashing now and if your controller isn't there, it will appear there in a few seconds. Like I said, I've connected it before, so it's already got you know that saved somewhere. And if I click that and I click next, it will connect. So this for you will probably take longer than it does for me if it's the first time. For me, it took a while the first time. It was just installing some drivers. But again, just wait patiently. And if we go to set up USB game controllers, it's appeared there now because most of the setup's done, but once it's fully done, we'll actually confirm it's working in here. Okay, so that's done now. If we go to properties, oops, sorry, I just knocked the camera. And now that's done. As you can see, pressing the different keys triggers the button. So that's all configured in terms of Bluetooth. There's just that one little caveat that it will still keep flashing as if it's in sync mode, but it is connected. So that's just a little minor thing if you are going via the Bluetooth route. So if we was to go, I'll show you the wired version in a second. If we go and open up PCSX2, so make sure PCSX2 is closed before you connect. That's just because it won't detect the controller. Otherwise, if it's open, just close it and reopen it again after connecting. Go to plugin settings, pad one, if I clear this. Well, I go there as you can see it's detecting the keys but before I map it I want to show you the wired version of connecting it and then I'll map it because you can either skip to that version now if you are using Bluetooth wirelessly like I just did now and then you can you know, map it or you can watch the wired section so I'm going to close this down and what we need to do now is uh, I'm actually going to disconnect the controller by going to remove device as you can see it, it has disappeared now it's disappeared in here and that's disappeared because I still had the window open with the game controller and what we want to do is go to the internet download something called better for joy CEMU I will provide a link for this and better force so better joy for CEMU I always put better, I always get it wrong. So I'll provide a link, go to releases and download the latest version. So there's two versions, 64 bit or 32 bit. This is 64 bit, the X80, I mean X64, and in the X86 is the 32 bit. 64 bit supports 64 bit and 32 bit in terms of your OS, and the X86 is only supported on a 32 bit OS. To find out, Go to your computer, go to system properties, and right there it says 64-bit. So I'll download the 64-bit version. It will start downloading. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. So if I go to where I've got it downloaded, right click, go to extract all, and just click extract. 
and in here what you want to do is double click this and actually before I install it let me go back to game set up game controllers if I plug this in as you can see it is plugged in because it is charging it doesn't get detected here so we need to actually install the drivers if this pops up go to more info run anyway and this should pop up click yes this will take a few seconds again it may take a little longer than it does for me just because I've installed it before and I haven't installed it to be fair but again it might be a little slower but just wait patiently it's almost done and there we go as you can see it has detected it if you just keep waiting there we go if we go to properties but as you can see nothing gets detected that's fine and that's what you need to do now is go to here better joy for CEMU and as you can see now that's highlighted up and that's connected as player one and if I place this down so you can hear this if I click locate it vibrates the controller so as you can see it's detected there as an Xbox 360 controller and everything works just as well so the buttons are slightly different in terms of the way they've been mapped because of the 360 controller now but they work exactly the same so i'm just going to show you the mapping in pcsx2 using the wired option but once you've got it connected bluetooth or wired the process is the same to close that keep this bit open because if you close it so let me show you it disconnects the controller so i've got to make sure that's open minimize that I don't know what disconnected them, but it wasn't the controller. And now I'm going to minimize this and close that. Launch up PCSX2. Go to config, controllers, plug in settings. Move this over here. Go to pad one. I'm going to clear all and I'm going to start mapping it. So I'm going to map it square, triangle, X, circle. So we've got quite a few buttons here. I'm going to map that to start that to select and the analog button on map uh, this one right here actually they won't let me use those buttons so if you need the analog button you will have probably use something on your keyboard and let's do the d-pad now so this one right here left right and down let's do the shoulder button so R1, R2, R3 is the right analog stick clicked in. And now let's do the left shoulder buttons. L1, L2, and L3 is just the left analog stick clicked in. Now up, and left analog stick, left, left analog stick, right, right analog stick, and down. Okay, so. Now let's do the right analog stick. Feel free to change the sensitivity and you know mess around with this. That's the great thing about this. You can really customize it and change the force feedback as well. So you can also connect a second controller. Maybe it's using a controller like this, your keyboard and mouse, a mixture, or it could potentially be something else like a PS4 controller. So maybe you have a preference, you want a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, somebody else wants an Xbox controller possibly. And I've got videos covering all the different con major controller types. Click apply, click OK. Now let me just launch up a game and show you it working. I've got Tekken 4 selected. I'm going to go to fast boot. And I'll skip the start, we'll select and start. That's only, you know, one Tekken. But... And yeah, let's get into it. So this will be working the same way if we was using the wireless connection mode and you might be thinking what are those lines on the screen ignore that it's just a little shader problem i've got going i'll be messing with that still haven't fixed it yet because you watch it in my other videos but again that doesn't affect what we're doing here so let me go to random christy basically eddie guerrero i think he's eddie guerrero's master's granddaughter i think that's what the story is Okay, so let me beat Paul. So let's see if I can get a perfect. Oh yeah, perfect. 
I'm just going to press these two, go back to the menu, press escape to pause PC, p pause the game. So that's how you connect up a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the PC SX2 emulator. Really simple stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.